Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, Cancer, let's go ahead and do your reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love, in life, and everything in between. I am using the Nomad Soul Wire Tarot deck. If you want to get a copy, check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. All right, let's get started. Cancer. Your person in mind, your love life. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, you've got someone who is hooked with you, Cancer. Wow, this is big deal. You have one, two, three, four out of six cards. Major Arcana. Major Arcana. I feel like you have a, a person that you have just ignored. Yeah, or you just stop caring. Yeah. You have someone in your life where whom whom you have stopped um, investing your time with. And then you are doing you. You go out whenever. Whenever you feel like it, you do what you want. Um, for some of you, you go dinner even alone and you enjoy it. Yeah, you, you're being, you're even on your own. Basically, you are not dependent on anyone for your happiness, yeah, at least for this week. That's what I'm getting. It's very clear that on your own, you are satisfied. Um, you're open if other people will reach out to you. You're open if um, other people will will um, put effort yeah, to connect with you. But I don't see you um, making the effort to reach out yeah, or to connect, especially to the person that probably you have ignored, probably you have... Um, forcefully neglected and i feel like this is a person that is feeling stuck right now um wondering what is going on wondering why you are doing that wondering why you cannot um wondering why you will not choose them amongst everyone because this person sees you as, you know, that beautiful vixen or the, the most handsome machete or something. So they have um, high regard. Yeah? Basically, this person has high regard for you. They look up to you like a star. It's like even if they are going out, they're spending time with friends, spending time dating new people even. It seems like this person couldn't find anyone um, that is matching or at least at par with you. Yeah, and they know that. Or at least that is what they're telling their mind. Yeah, That is what they're telling themselves. And I feel like they really want you. They want um, a commitment with you. This is a person who is really wanting, uh, you know, that type of exclusivity. Yeah, wanting to have that type of exclusivity. At some point, this person may suspect that you may be dating around, you may be um, going out with other people, where in fact, yeah, where in fact, I feel like you are, well, maybe you're doing that. But what I see here really is that um, there are some goals that you need to finish at least by this year. So you are more focused on that. You are more focused in at your work, more focused in getting your things done, your work done, or preparing your family, your friends for the holidays. You know, there are a lot of things that you need to do towards the end of the year. And I feel like you are um, putting your mind, effort, planning skills into that rather than... Um, entertaining this person's um, attitude yeah and like I said if you are not with this person right now if there has been some fight argument and all or competition even until now this person is still hooked this person is still wanting to get together with you and lock the deal you know close the deal with you they want a relationship. They want exclusivity. Nothing less than that. Yeah, nothing less than that. 
I feel like you have different um, different styles or approach because this person's intentions are really good in terms of having a relationship a loving commitment they want it all yeah and I know that you also want it, yeah? You have the Empress energy here. So you also want that type of relationship where you can grow, you can expand with someone. But um, there's just some missing piece here that may have caused this Ten of Swords, which was an ending. So possibly this person wants, um, I don't know, you know, an example could be they want marriage. They want that certificate. And for you... You're good to meet up. You're good to be partners and all, but you don't want that, you know. So that is an example of what I am seeing here. In your case, it could be different. So take it however that resonates. It seems like both of you want the same thing. The other person just want a little bit more. And that little bit more could actually change the dynamic of your connection. Yeah. But they look at you as a star. They look at you like... Um, it's like a lot of people are hovering over you, yeah, that you are, that you have unending or unlimited suitors, uh, followers and things like that. So they keep tabs on you, yeah, at least in the past. And I feel like for now, this person is showing you that, hey, I'm no longer looking at you. I'm no longer, uh, tracing or stalking you <laughs> even, yeah. Um, that's what I'm getting. They may try to detach uh, physically or they may try to appear like they don't care. They don't care as much as they did before. They don't care to even check you out. Um, but I feel like it's just this person's way of accepting that whatever they want, even if it's somehow similar to what you want, it's still not the same thing. So another example would be if you are open to, you know, just dating, no commitment and all, and then this person wants um, a relationship, the Hierophant, and they have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, This person wants like solid partnership that it's just us, we will build life together and all. But for you, hey, you're good. <laughs> it's like for you, you're good. You have everything you need if you want me come <laughs> if you want me come or something like that but it's not it's not like you have to tie the empress down yeah you can't do that to an empress basically so and that is really keeping this person hooked yeah primarily it's like they want something but they can never get it you know that energy and that's why they're hooked now um if this person is trying to avoid you yeah, it is because they are protecting their energy. Um, they are protecting the fact that they may look look at you and then if they see you with other people, they will just get jealous. Or if there's been some conflict that hasn't been addressed, um, they want to stay away from it. Yeah, They want to stay away from it. Now, this person, to close out this reading, I feel like they have thought about it and that they want... Uh, a solid traditional type of relationship and if it is something that you can't do that you can't give uh, this person will do two things one is it's their coping mechanism actually because I feel like for you you have ended things out but for them they would hide the fact that they want that commitment and they will still continue to come back to you and show you that hey I'm good we can be friends or we can be friends with benefits and all but deep inside, what they really want is that commitment, is that exclusivity. Yeah? Does that make sense? All right. So that's what I see for now. On your end, I feel like you are good. You are busy with your life, focusing on money matters, work, and whatever this is, or focusing on your own um, capability to... to earn or you know expand more in your in your lifestyle i'm gonna leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe